Hello YouTubers, this is Chris and this is my 150cc GY6 dune buggy. I've been working on this for quite a while and I've tried multiple different setups. What actually happened with me is the fuel and vacuum systems on these things are a little intricate and I'm here to explain it. There's a lot of 12-13 minute video you know, videos on these things and, and how they go and they don't help and the diagrams aren't that helpful either. So this is actually going to be an easy one to understand. Uh, first off, make sure that there, the fuel petcock that you have on there is made for this. It should have two outlets. So let's look at that first. Here's your gas tank, and that is your petcock right there. So as you can see, there's two lines coming out of it. If you only have one line, it's probably not the right setup. I don't know if there's different variations of this engine. Mine came with a single outlet, and I'm pretty sure the guy took it from a motorcycle and put it on there. Not the correct way to do it. These things need vacuum to run. So the top one is gonna be fuel. As you can see right here, top one, fuel. Follow that down into the uh, fuel filter. That's actually made for the GYX6 engines. It's about $12 on Amazon. And this goes straight into that part of the carburetor right there. All right, make sure that's nice and tight or else you're gonna leak gas everywhere. That's what happened to me. My whole garage smells like gas right now. Now the bottom one, this is the one that people have trouble with. All right, the bottom one is your vacuum. And make sure that's on there nice and tight. That's going to go to a T. You can get this at O'Reilly's. That's what I did. I'm going to, this is very jerry-rigged right now. I'm going to clean it up, but this is just for people that are having problems right now. Um, so it goes into the T. The left side is going to go right over here. Boom, right there. So not that one. It goes here, okay, to this part of right there, the air box to the, to the carb. And then the second part of the T, there's your T, is going to go right over here to, and I had to go from big line to small line. I know, crappy I know, but I had to get a little adapter. That goes right there on that part of the carburetor. After that, you're going to have to adjust your idles and stuff like that. Also, I've done to this thing so far, it's just got a, uh, a racing CDI and a new electronic choke, which is... I don't know if you can really see it from here, but there we go. Electronic choke. Sometimes that could be the issue. I got a new one, very cheap. The carburetor is brand new. Uh, you're also going to want to check, make sure you have fuel. I mean, as stupid as that sounds, I actually forgot that I drained it because I was having so much trouble with the pet cock. I had to drain it a few times. So here I am trying to crank it and it didn't have gas in it. So, uh, duh, my, my bad. But there's gas in it now and it runs. So make sure, make sure you have gas. And your fuel filter, once you try to crank it, it should fill up with gas. So there is gas in there now. You can't really tell, but there is. That's how I know I'm getting fuel. I was speaking to a uh, small engine mechanic. The other thing he said he could do is that rubber boot right there. You can uh, loosen that clamp, take the carburetor off, and try to run it hard. Like, really try to crank it over. And if gas shoots on your hand, then you know your carburetor is filling up with gas. If not, you're not getting any fuel. He said that's one test you can do. Um, I'm trying to think what else I've learned in this whole endeavor. It's been it's been crazy. I've worked on this thing for a couple of weeks now. Um, yeah, I mean that's pretty much it. So just just a quick quick recap. You have your petcock with two outlets. Top is fuel, bottom is vacuum. Tees off to the boot behind the carburetor, and then this one goes to that side of the carb. Fuel is just to the fuel filter to the left side of the carb. Very easy. Uh, that's your setup, man. Lots of diagrams online. They don't really help out. Hopefully this helps someone out out there. So, hey, good luck getting your GY6 going, man. These things are great. They run forever. And, uh, you know, the next video I do is probably going to be putting a motorcycle engine on this thing. But I'm just going to have fun with it for now. And uh, good luck. Bye.